I've got a thumbs up. Drivers behind the line. In three, two, one, go. Welcome to playoffs match 12. Just as usual, the first 15 seconds here is autonomy, autonomous. 7841 looking to get that balance to our extra charge station. 71 Team Hammond has been able to get balanced in the past. Will they get it? They have. The standings are just about even at the end of autonomous. We now into move tally up period where robots, the human players pick up their robot controllers and are now in charge of their robots. Team 447, Team Roboto looking to place a cone in the low, middle part of their grid, scoring three points for their alliance. They have a unique grabber mechanism that reminds me of an arcade claw machine. 1741, that's red alert. There are Holmes teams sponsoring us at Greenwood this weekend. They're looking to place a cone on the top part of the grid, which successfully done will score five points for their alliance. 3176, Purple Precision making use of their loading area. That's a protected area for both teams, but only for that team's color. They can interact with their human players in that region to get, bring in different game pieces for their alliance. Team 829, the Digital Goats, has been known to be quite ferocious throughout the competition today. They're placing a cone on the top part of their grid, not only scoring five points for scoring up there, but also five points for completing a link. Remember, link are three game pieces placed horizontally. Previous in qualification matches, they could have gotten ranking points for that, but at this point, they're just playing old game matches. 70 seconds remaining in our match. Checking in on the Lost Crusaders, 39-47, now placing the cone into their grid, not completing any points of links, but still useful for their alliance. The score is 76 to 78. They've been quite tight match throughout this entire match so far. We'll have to see how the scores shake out. Both teams, specifically Team Roboto, is playing lots of defense on their opponents. That is allowed as long as contact is kept to a minimum. Lots of bumper and bumper action in today's match. Just keep your eyes in the center of the field if you're looking for any of that. Team Hammond at 71, pushing a cone into the lower part of their grid and then placing a cube. Remember, you can manipulate multiple game pieces if you're inside of your community. Now that we've entered end game, we'll see if these robots can balance. There seems to be a spare part on the field just outside the Red Alliance's charge station. It should not hinder them for doing any more. We'll have to see how these are looking. The Red Alliance has seven seconds to get all three robots balanced. The Blue Alliance only having two. This could be the deciding factor if they can get it balanced. And that is it for your qualification, or sorry, playoffs match 12. And here are your scores for playoffs match 12. Your winners are the Blue Alliance with a score of 135, beating the Red Alliance is 116. Alliance 6 will continue to play. We'll next see them in the lower bracket match 13. Unfortunately, the Red Alliance, Alliance 3, has gotten two losses in our elimination bracket, which means they are eliminated. We want to say a huge thanks to Team 71, Team Hammond. Team 829, that's the Digital Goats, and Team 447, Team Roboto. We want to thank you so much for coming to today's event and competing. We'll next see you after this short break.